there on that bend but you know what it's hair metal monday Ow! it's back it's officially a thing now you guys were like all about it and i'm like hey any excuse for me to play a bunch of 80s riffs brah today we're talking about underrated 80s riffs i should say 80s just hair metal because you know some people were commenting that a couple bands squeak in, squeaked into their albums came out in the early 90s i think if they have that hair metal sound regardless if they came out in the early 90s or any of that kind of stuff. It's it's 80s. You know what I mean. So we're going to dive into these. Now these are um, a bunch of killer 80s model riffs. You can grab the tabs linked down below in the description if you want to. And uh, we're just going to dive on into these. And let me know, you know, what are some other riffs you'd like to see in some of these videos? I have a bunch of 80s ideas uh, that are going to be popping up here that I'm working on for these videos. So let's get it. Yo, kicking things off with Cinderella, and I'm going to teach all these on the Les Paul. I think the darker thing works just a little bit easier for you guys to see. And I had to play this riff on a Les Paul. Um, you know, it, it, come on. If you're going to play a Kiefer riff, you got to do it. So, of course, talking about The Last Mile, a uh, killer, killer, one of my favorite Cinderella songs. And it has this monstrous riff, you know, it comes in with that clean guitar. And all of a sudden you hear that big G chord. And you know it's about to rock. There we go right into that. It's, it's such like a rock and roll riff, it, you know, I really, really dig it. So basically, you know, you have that G chord that kicks it all off, and then we go to this A5. You know, a lot of these riffs are based out of the key of A. So I'm just playing open A string and second fret on the D. Now you can throw that second fret on the G in there as well if you want, if you're feeling like it. Now he hits two more A chords. And I can't remember if they're going down or up. Sometimes I, I end up, uh, you know, picking the strings up. If I want a little bit more scrape on the string, but you can go down or up, it doesn't matter. Now here we enter this like little double stop area. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go seven on the D and G, and I pull off to five on the D and G. So you have to roll your fingers. It's the same thing if you had went like this with power chords. Except the 80s way to do this stuff is to use the top part of the power chords and not the bottom part. So you do that. So 7-7, seven, seven, pull off to 5-5 five, five on the D and G. Play that open A string in there. Now I palm mute that. And then here is just like the most classic rock thing you can possibly do here. It's going to be 9 on the D, 7 on the G, and then 8 on the B. You play it twice and you go to straight sevens on the D, G, and B. So you just kind of pick these two fingers up and boom, right to the seven. Now I see a lot of people, I was watching videos on this to make sure I was getting the riffs right. And um, I see a lot of people do this. They don't do that, listen to the song, listen to it on slow-mo, half speed on YouTube, they go. There's two strokes in there. So. Okay, so they do that. Now they do everything else the same. They go back to that A chord. Two more time. This is the only part they change. So the same double stop pull off here on seven on the D and G, go to five on the D and G, seven on the A. So, and here we're gonna go uh, five hammer on seven on the A, and then you do another double stop on that D and G, five. 
Do it twice. it up all right let's get some lynch in here dream warriors i love dream warriors such a just an in your face riff now it starts off with this little clean guitar section and uh i know i'm just gonna roll my volume down a little bit all right so you're all the way up here you're gonna play open a string then you do these little power chords you're gonna go seven on the d to uh, ten on the g then you, all you do is you change your pinky and you go to seven and nine okay so you have he does it again, and I believe he leaves out the A string. And I've always, I've seen people play this different ways, but this is what it always sounded like to me. A hammer on. He goes five on the D and G, hammering on to that seven. And then he plays five and seven together on the D. Okay. So. Now he does the whole thing again. If you listen to the background here, it's kind of pelling on that A string. I don't know if it's the same track or if he's using a different guitar, but that's what I've always kind of done for that. Now here, a, he enters rock mode. Woo! Bam! Same thing he was doing there, but now it's like a, he's got the lower end in there. So it's simply a C5 to a D5 power chord. You're gonna be playing third fret on the A string to fifth fret on the D and slide up to five and seven. Into this next riff. And all he's doing here is again, these little power chords. It's two on the D and four on the G. And you play your open A string with it. Then you're palm muting between them. Watch how many times I palm mute. Okay, slide up to three and five. Back to two and four. Same C5 to D5. All right, some XYZ inside out. Now this is a funny story to this one. Uh, my buddy PDX, he recommended this one for the last video. And I actually had the riff shot for the last video, but uh, the video is getting so long it had six riffs in it, so I cut this one out, and I was like, I'll throw it in the next video. So Inside Out, what a great riff. I mean, it's killer. And it just gets, it just gets better and better. Anyway, so it's kind of a complicated one. Lots of palm muting in here. So basically what's happening here is you're going to do a little... Uh, hammer on section where you're gonna go seven on the D and G and you're hammering on to nine on the D and G Same thing as if you went Okay Now here's where the palm muting start So you palm mute on the low E string twice Do another little like stab of that nine in the D and G so, Okay back to the low E string palm mute it two more times Okay, so now we're doing one palm mute between each little chord hit. So we have, okay, a classic Eddie Van Halen here doing the turn it into uh, like a sus four. You're gonna play nine on the D and G, roll your finger, and then your pinky is going to play ten. Then you pick your pinky up. You go to nine. So this is taking it back to a normal major. So the trick here is between each of those. Uh, actually, I'll do I'll do it like this. So we did that. And then you play seven on the D and G. Now the trick is you have to have one palm mute on the low E string between each one of those. So it goes. So. Okay, so we have. All right, now what happens here is we start pedaling on the A string. So it's kind of a cool little shift. So. Now, I think he goes two palm mutes on the A string. Okay. So if you notice, when I went to this section, I already had my index finger down because I'm, I'm already preparing to do that pull off. So let, watch my hands. 
Look at that, it's already there. Two palm meets on the A string. So I go seven on the D and G, pull off to six on the G, still holding that seven down. Two palm mutes, and then hit the chord again, six and seven. So. Okay, so. And then there's four palm mutes. Hit the chord again, so we have. And then it's, see, it's four palm mutes, hit the chord. Then two palm, it's, it's hard to like count all these. Two palm mutes, seven and six, hammer onto that seven. So. that now he repeats it again and all all you can do if you want to do a little harmonic section on there is he's hitting a harmonic on on uh, seven on the D and G and then um, I'm sorry that was five on the D and G and then seven I'm getting all confused here this is a tough riff to explain And then it was some winger. I might do a whole episode dedicated to winger because I think they are just one of the most like criminally underrated 80s metal bands. Ah, oh, Red Beach. How, how incredible. Kip, I think Kip Winger is an amazing singer, amazing bass player, amazing musician. Red Beach, amazing guitar player, amazing singer. You know, there's Paul Taylor. There's so many, you know, great guys in that band. But um, anyways, so time to surrender. I can't remember if I've taught this one or Hungry on here before, but I was like, you know what? It's such a great riff, let's just do it again. <laughs> so I might have taught this one before in the past and I just don't remember. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go like this. What an awesome riff. So we start with that A5. Look at all these riffs are like starting with A5. Now, again with the palm muting, just look at the tabs for the palm muting. I'm not going to explain it too much. I, I, it confuses me to explain it. You know, it, once you listen to the riff, you just kind of do it. You come all the way up here to these little power chords. Reb is always doing this stuff, and it sounds so cool. So you're going to go 7 on the D to uh, 9 on the G. So palm mute, down to 3 on the D and G. Oh, sorry, 3 on the D, 5 on the G. Two palm mutes, and you're gonna go five and seven, slide up to seven nine. So, two more palm mutes in there. Okay, so, okay. So I'm on five on the D and seven on the G. Now, here's a different version of like this power chord kind of harmonizing in third stelio. Five on the D and four on the G. So, I did a palm mute and then A5 again. Now he has a little tag here at the end. He goes, open three on the low E string, open three on the A. So it goes. Now everything else stays the same except the ending. He doesn't do this again. He goes like this. Let me show you. So he goes. First ending. Okay, now he stops here. Instead of going to that A5, he goes up here, essentially to a D5. He's playing seven on the D and G. Then he, here's this new little tag that he throws on. So I go, it's all double stops on the D and G. Seven, five, seven, eight, seven, five. Sometimes I do with my pinky. Sometimes I slide. Sometimes I bend. You know, you can do whatever you want with it, but those are the nodes. Oh, sorry. Red Beach, one of the best. One of the best. 
So there you guys have it, another Hair Metal Mondays. Hope you're all rocking out out there. Um, these are these are a lot of fun to make. I, I was looking forward, I'm like, I can't wait to next Monday to, shoot, to make the next Hair Metal Mondays video. Um, so yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna have some individually dedicated videos, probably to Winger. Uh, I wanna do a Warren D. Martini video, all this kind of stuff. So uh, 80s licks, a lot of you know hair metal content, as long as you guys are still into it, it is happening. And let me know your suggestions down below. Please throw out some ideas. And, uh, you know, we'll do this for a while. So other than that, I'm going to bounce on out of here, guys. Get the tabs, all that good stuff. Um, if you would, subscribe if you're still watching at this point. Um...